Hey guys, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and what you're looking at here is a greenhouse frame. I went and got it. I took it all apart myself and um, it took quite a while because there was a lot of stuff still uh, under the frame and around the frame and growing through and around and in the frame and uh, there was a wooden um, backboard on the back wall one of the uh, doorways I guess you would say was all wood and it was a job it took me all morning to get well when was it no half the afternoon sorry uh, to get this done I don't remember what I did this morning now um, I'm a little bit tired and the cold has been taking its toll uh, makes me tired I don't know about you but it makes me tired Anyway, there is an entire 12 by 20, um, actually it was a tent, just a plain old storage tent, which is now going to be a greenhouse frame. I'm going to put plastic over it, and it is rugged, it is old, which means it's really, really, really stable. Some of the poles are bent, and will need some fixing up. Um, that was due to a truck driving through it in one point and one of the sidebars is badly bent in and beyond that the thing was fine except for that one accident I will probably take that piece in and have it straightened out for me one day properly other than that though it's good to go and I'm going to put it up I couldn't show me taking it apart because it wasn't at my house but now I'm going to show me putting it up if you want to see it Say hi to everybody. Hi, Michelle. Say hi. Come on. Hello. Why are you shy on the camera? Uh, I laid out four frame pieces and decided, with Melanie's advice and opinions, Melanie, why don't you stand in there, please? This is where it's going to be. I put a 20 foot. 2x6 next to it. It's 21 feet long. What do you think, Melanie? The location and the size of it. Looks yeah, decent. It's a good location, though. We decided not to go here. Well, we decided to go where the greenhouse was going to be, but not specifically here because I've already started digging and the ground won't be stable there anymore. And it's too close to trees, which would have to be trimmed back for a raised greenhouse. The underground is a different story. I'll still probably put a food cellar down in there one day. It's something I want to do. Here though is going to be the raised the hoop house greenhouse. I think it's a perfect spot for it because it's on a hill right at the edge of that right there it starts to come down and drop off. In this area is where I didn't get the extra fertilizer um, topsoil spread um, when I first, two years ago, two seasons ago I should say, when we first moved here. So this area here didn't ever really get the soil amended and we never really planted this area. So um, it's a perfect spot to put the greenhouse right there then. Um, we're taking up a little bit of one of our planting rows but in the future this is probably going to be corn up from here forward and then smaller shorter plants on that side. I'll have a walkway here, obviously, but it's looking all right so far. This is how it's going to be. So I'm going to start putting it together. Let me show you the... Now, there's a couple bent poles. Let me see. Yeah, the front pole was really bent up because they had driven tractors over it a lot. So that is how it is. The right side is all good. I think the back part may have one bend in it. Maybe not. The back part looks good. A little bit curved, but otherwise good. There was a wood wall on the back side. And where a truck had driven into it, it has a little bit of a bend, which I know I can bend out. I think I'm going to put that in a crook of a tree, actually, right now, and bend that tiny, tiny bit out. That's the only flaw on the side wall. Oh, there's a tiny little bend up here. I mean, it's old, and it was there were tractors driving through it. But... 
And then there's one bad piece which I'll figure out later. So I'll probably bend that out now and straighten the little pieces out before I get going. And then we'll get ourselves a greenhouse put together. And I've got to dig this out. This dirt. It's very simple. Um, Self-tapping screws going to corners. Or going to all the joints. And that's what held this together. At the base it's 12 feet, like I said already. And I think it's 8 feet high at the top. It's a little bit wider than I thought. It's going to go into our other row. But we've decided together this is where it should be. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought. Wow. <laughs> there. I think though, yeah, I do want to bend that. Why? Oh, I see how it goes. Okay. So I've got to bend these two, but I just wanted to see what we're looking at for size. Wow, it cuts in. That's bigger than I thought. Wow, it cuts in there a oh, ways up into that row. So, but anyway, this section was never really fertilized properly, never really conditioned. So I'm willing to to let go of this little piece. Well, with much struggle, I got one up. Uh, it's not going as smooth as I thought because this is like a jigsaw puzzle. Everything fits together the way it came apart. And what I wasn't thinking is even the joints I have to mesh up with the original screw holes because they're not all alike. What a job. And I can't figure out the front corner. Funny because I just took it apart, but um, wow, what a job to put back together. So it goes together smooth. These are strong. Takes me a long time to get a, an arch put together. But it's self-supporting. It's a strong thing. And it is self-supporting. Not flimsy like your modern tents are. Very, very nice to work with. Whoops. There. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, really rugged. That's so much nicer than the modern ones. So this will withstand some serious winters. Well, it's already withstood a lot of serious winters. I got another up, and now I got the last, uh, the back piece put together. That's nice and easy. Now I know those are right. You can't mess them up because of the uh, bars that go across. Now, for what I'm going to do, I've left out one post. And uh, I'm going to show you here in a second. Where's my can? I just found some um, potato seeds, which is rare. I uh, accidentally kicked it off this plant. I'm going to keep them. So, I'm leaving out this back end one to be 
taken in for repair. So you can see this one, this one, skip one, far back wall. And what I've done is swapped out for appearance sake, which means I'm going to have to drill new holes in this first two ends here in the bottom. All the others mesh up though and are in the right places. But I decided to leave out the bent bar until I can take it in and get it properly fixed. Or bend it myself between a crook of a tree. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you, but I straightened out that front bar relatively good in a crook of a tree. And uh, started working on it a bit. So now I'm working on the front and I can't figure it out, oddly. I've got the pieces, but I can't get them to piece together because I took off the one, I know those are the two, to come together, but I can't get them to mesh up with the screws in that piece, which is weird. So I've got to figure that out. Well, I got the front on and the back on. Uh, now, I've got to get the side supports on all along and then the top support. And then, like I said, I've got to fix that one piece and get that in there later. And then I'm going to have to level off the ground because it's terrible. I got this sidebar sitting in place. And that one is bent, so I'm going to fix that right now. I guess you can watch me. I'm really no expert on pipe bending, so I did the first one without showing you. Then I just went and did it. And it worked. So I figure I might as well keep on going. It's not perfect, but it sure is better. I think it'll do the job. But it's certainly better. Then I have to mesh up the holes on these and see. I just have to see what goes where. Oh, I got lucky on this one. It's 50 50. 50% 50 chance I get it right. Good, so this one goes over there. Now, I don't know if I got this lined up or not. I think I reversed these. Yeah, I reversed these. I don't know if they're going to mesh up. I might have to turn it back around. This is taking a while. So this one was bent, yes. The bent one goes up in the front hole here in the front part. Yeah, 
I don't know if I'm going to get them to mash up anyway. Oh, there we go. Good. Got it. Then I've got to get the screws in all four corners and then get all the clamps on them. Oh, yeah, they got to line up. If I don't line them up, I want to get the clamps in. So there's going to be, oh, no, it's going to be good. Yeah, right here. I can show you right here. Let me get a clamp. Okay, now I've got these clamps that go on here and hold the bars in place. Nice and easy. I love this system. It's very rugged. It's awkward though. Where'd it go? Okay, I will drop the screw and I need them all. Be right back. Perfect example of what I'm saying. It's very awkward. Uh, these screws are so short, it's very, very awkward to get these pieces together and not drop a screw. Very strong. Very, very strong. So I'm going to go ahead and put this side clamps on. See, that's all together. Really rugged. This isn't going to ever blow away or get wrecked by the wind or snow load. That's why I wanted this so badly. Oh, now I'm out of breath. Would you believe I managed to bend it pretty good on my own? I can't believe it myself. I got it. It's not perfect, but we're going to find out in a few minutes how it looks. See if I can get that in there. This one hard. Let's see if I've done a good job or not. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh wow. No paying anybody. <laughs> it looks good. Look at that. I can't believe I did that. I did it. Wow, it's not bad at all. You can barely tell it was bent up. Whew. All right, well, now I'm going to get the uh, other two clamps on them. Now comes the real challenge. I can reach. Oh, how'd I do that? Yeah, that isn't gonna work. I need a ladder. All right. I got it apart alone, but without a ladder too. But that's only because I reached up over my head with the uh, drill and removed the screws. Coming apart was easier. I'm going to attempt to make this happen.
Come on. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot a screw down there. All right, I'm gonna need a hammer for that. I didn't get the bottom corner in because I need a hammer for that too. The bottom corner came apart. No big deal. I need a hammer. So I'm going to tap that together, get the clamps in the middle, and we're good. I got it up there. Now I got to put these clamps in. Trying to bend these in place is a trick. Oh, I think I want a different clamp. Where do you line up? Oh, that's why. It's very awkward. The pole is wanting to go one way. There we go. Wow, yeah, this is what I've been going through. Oh no. This is what I've been dealing with. I can get it, but I need three hands to do it. Yeah, now you see what I'm dealing with and why it took me an entire day to do this job. I still got a few more clamps to do. Well, there you have it, guys. New greenhouse taking shape. This was probably a very expensive, if you were to compare it to today's standards, very expensive tent. 12 at the base, but I think 8 high but just I think precisely 20 long. Um, looks like this could have been expanded the way they made it because the um, bottoms are T's so you could actually extend it out. So it leaves the option open for expanding this in the future. Wouldn't be hard at all to add um, poly frames. But it's good. Now I'm going to be measuring probably another video. I'm going to go up three feet on these and mark them. And I plan on setting up grow beds along the walls. And I've got to see, depending on the curve of the sidewall, how much I lose there. Once I come up and measure three feet, how much space I lose will be the deciding factor on how I set this up. I'd love to have a grow bed along each wall and one down the middle with walkways in between. But I don't want to make my grow beds so narrow that uh, they freeze easier. So I want to come out three feet on each end. But I don't know if that will leave me much room in the middle. So I'm going to do some working and thinking and planning and measuring in the next day or so here but there it is 
There's uh, the new greenhouse at the off-grid homestead. Uh, I won't cover it this year. There's no point. It's just going to go through more weather and more wear and tear this year. But I probably will start working on the uh, what they call the knee boards up to the frame here on the sides. And that'll all be wood. And it might work on the back wall and the front wall. I'll have to frame it in with wood and make an actual doorway. And the back wall will be framed in with wood and just covered in plastic. Now, this is the south wall, and I'm leaning on the north wall. I could insulate in the winter one half of this with a tarp or blanketing material. And the sun will shine in through here just fine, give me even more insulation and uh, further extending my growth season for most vegetables and uh, cold weather crops will just keep on going. So I was determined to get this done today and I did it in a day, an entire day. It's probably about seven o'clock now. Gonna get dark in a few minutes. That's it guys. There's a new greenhouse at the off-grid homestead. This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Good night.